WFAN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Friday, the uh, 12th of March. Basil Chapman giving you the Tiger Financial News Network news. This is the 9 a.m. update. The Dow futures up 40, uh, making an all-time high yesterday. I, my suspicion is, yeah, Boeing's helping the Dow. I wouldn't be surprised if we make some kind of a peak today below yesterday's 32,530 uh, futures high. And that goes for the S&P. The E-mini e right now is trading down 14. Now it's 15 at 32.91. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a peak being made today from yesterday's all-time high. IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, made an all-time high yesterday of 232.28. Trading right now 231.99. That could maybe extend that a little bit, but we'll see what happens. And you've got the QQQ, which had a fabulous session yesterday, having an unfabulous session today at 313.10. It was up in the three uh, three. 19s yesterday, all of a sudden we're looking at a pullback. Is it break resistance? How the QQQs hold support in the 314 to 312 area next week is really important. A break under that says, wow, we've got a big diversion here between the Dow type stocks and the uh, the NASDAQ 100 stocks. The SMHs, so I might show that I did just a few minutes ago, which is going to be broadcast at noon. Uh, for that's the Tiger Technicians Hour. I discussed this SMHs. Uh, they're starting to fail here. You've got to watch this closely. Hey, gold. Gold is down 19 at 17.03. Just kind of stalls. They're having a terrible time trying to uh, get traction to the upside. It's not that it can't put, uh, rally. It just can't hold rallies. But the, the um, dollar is up 41 ticks at 91.82. That's a good sign. The real problem here, and I discussed this in my show, and uh, we're watching this closely. The TLT bonds down 2.57 at 136.44. 136.61 was the last low. You take that out and you've got yields starting to climb to the upside. That is going to be a worry on the market at some point. Maybe not now. So you've got to be really watching this closely. So today, I, I'm suggesting that if the uh, if the market is weak after 1.30 p.m., we probably could be weak into maybe Sunday, maybe even into Monday. And that's going to be the big test. What happens Monday? Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, stay tuned. Larry Pesavento coming up. Great programming all day. And see you on Monday at 10 a.m. for the Tiger Commission's Hour. That's my new hour. And Larry Pesavento on Monday. Have a great day.